So, I got the craziest email this morning. I don't mean to burst your bubble, dude, but those penile enlargement pills do not work. Believe me, I know. The email I got was from the office of Stephen Hawking. You're kidding. Why? He's coming to the university for a couple weeks to lecture, and he's looking for an engineer to help maintain the equipment on his wheelchair. That's amazing. You'll be like his pit crew. <laughs> A word of caution, I would not do your Stephen Hawking impression in front of him. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I suppose that could be considered offensive. <laughs> Boy, well, Sheldon's going to freak out. Yeah, he worships hockey. Well, I was actually thinking about bringing him along when I go over there so he can meet the great man. That's really nice of you, Howard. It's no big deal. <laughs> Boy, a restraining order from Stephen Hawking. <laughs> no, it looks so nice next to the ones he's already got from Leonard Nimoy, Carl Sagan, and Stan Lee. <laughs> Leonard. Do you recall when I said that I was going to revolutionize humanity's understanding of the Higgs boson particle, and you said, Sheldon, it's 2 a.m., get out of my bedroom? Like it was 10 hours ago. What about it? Well, I believe I've done it. And I'm only saying believe to sound modest, because sweet Sam Houston, I did it. <laughs> what? Really? That's incredible. Oh, yeah. Break out the mat. Oh, OK. Let me see this. All right, so. This particle here is the boson moving forward in time. Now, I was thinking, you, Howard, you go ahead and eat. This isn't going to make any sense to you. <laughs> Sheldon, I have a working understanding of physics. Yeah, good for you, and don't stop working on it. <laughs> you still going to tell him about you-know-who? Yep. Still going to introduce him? Not on your life. <laughs>